everybody a little different this morning i'm getting a late start because actually i got somebody i'm supposed to meet to sell this bicycle that i picked up uh i guess a couple of weeks ago uh got it sold for 80 dollars checked it out and it lists for like 500 i put it on there for 100 bucks guy offered me 80 he's supposed to come this morning and pick it up so i'll take 80 dollars for some garbage i found no problem um i still got that grill on the back of the truck from last night i just did not want to unload it and then reload it so it's staying there all right let's go get rid of this bicycle and make 80 dollars this morning all right hopefully the guy won't mind being on camera maybe i'll get some footage for you all right let's go see what happens all right i'm here strange things at the circle k We'll see if he shows up. I'm hoping so. I'll let you know. All right, I'm back at the homestead. Well, guy didn't want to be on camera, but oh well. They bought the bicycle. Two young guys. Uh, I was just glad to see when they got out of the car that they were, you know, they weren't short people like me. Cause that bicycle just way too tall. So they took it for a spin around the parking lot and they took it apart and loaded it up in the back seat of their Toyota Camry, which hey, it fit, no problem. So that one sold. So now it's a, uh, what is it? 8.40, kind of a late, late start. So I'm gonna take a ride and see if I can't add to the junk that I picked up last night, make a full load. And we'll see what we can pick up. Maybe we can find something else to sell. I know I got those two lawn mowers. I offloaded those. Those will stay here and I'll check those out and see what I can do with those. Be nice to make another 100, 120 bucks off of those this week. If I can get them ready by the weekend, they should sell by Saturday or Sunday. So let's go see what I can find. All right, I was hoping it wasn't too late. Uh, it looks like I got some odds and ends here. Gotta love those folding camp chairs. Cable lock. And another un old umbrella. Add to the load. Be nice to get this filled up today anyway. laying there okay let's see what else I can find this morning somebody else ain't already got all right got a filing cabinet hidden back here to make sure they're empty. to flip out also don't want to lose any more space than I have to Secure it down a little bit. I could lay it on his side, but then I lose a lot of space. Oh, that's just tipping it. 
it that way. That's not what I want. I guess I'm going to have to lay it down on its side for now. I got it in there. next road I got a bicycle another bicycle a mountain bike oh, that one's definitely junk all right so it don't fall back. See what else I can pick up this morning. I've seen this box back here. It looks like a radiator box and it's empty. Gotta check those radiator boxes. Every once in a while you find one of those uh, brass radiators. That's always nice. And even if it's just uh, the aluminum with the plastic tanks, hey, aluminum's aluminum. Oh, I got a pile of stuff over here. What do we got over here? Anything for me? Anything for me? I don't know, I see a... Final case hanging. Looks kind of nasty. You know what? I'm going to take that because I can clean that up. That's an old gun case. Looks like an old shotgun case, actually. much plastic on the bed frame. <clears throat> you know, some of that stuff I might be able to get away with. You know, that's got a lot of plastic, the headboard and the little sides and stuff, but it's basically a metal frame, but you know, 
or the scrap place I go, the scrap yard, they uh, have a wait attendant who stand there, and they she looks through your truck to see what you're bringing in, you know, because there are certain things they just do not accept, you know. You get guys that are new to this or are just trying to make as much money as they can and they want to bring in vacuum cleaners and TVs and heck I seen a guy that must have been his first time he came up he had about I don't know five or six old tires with the wheels on them and I just tell you flat out say we don't take tires the only way they'll take a, a wheel that has a tire on it is if it is aluminum and then they pay you a flat rate for it. I think it's $5 for an aluminum wheel with a tire. So you don't really get no weight. You just get a flat rate, which is better than nothing. But if you take the tire off, you get weight, you get more money. But All right, let's see what else I can find. Got a flagpole sticking out here. Well, a little bit of a flagpole. Looks like some aluminum gutter over here. Some chicken wire. Shove that in there. Everything could be like house to house to house right there. I'd save a lot of fuel. All right, let's see what else I can find. Oh, I got a big aluminum flag sticking out at me. Oh, I find some place to shove it in here at. there. Looks like a happy home for it. All right, let's see what else I can find. All right, we're here at the scrap yard. Unload. Save the aluminum.
Oh Lord, it's heavy. Yep, I just got a phone call from a friend of mine who is maintenance at a private school. And he says he got a bunch of scrap for me. So, dump all this out. Then I'll go home and get the toe dolly, or hand dolly. Which if you've seen, I actually just picked one up the other day. And I'll head over there. At least he's got a bunch of pipe and one of those big industrial dishwashers that's supposed to be all stainless steel, which is probably like this grill. It looks like stainless steel, but it's not. Whoa, big fella. Now that's almost off. It will be when I pull forward. Pulled that magnet off again. <sighs> yep, it's off. I can have the rust too. All right, the only thing is when I go to the school, I can't film at all because of course, you know, they're all underage kids, so I don't need no mad parents suing me. So let's see what this weight ticket is, and then I gotta head over there. All right, I'm back here at Homestead. We're done at the scrapyard for now, anyway. Um, I just wanted to show you that ticket from what I picked up on my route. And the stuff that I got last night, you know, uh, what is that? 500 pounds. So 32.50, which ain't bad. That's not bad for one load for me. I mean, hell, $32 is $32. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to have to shut this off. Pull a little bit of aluminum I have. Out of the back of the truck, which ain't a lot. Oh, and I'm gonna get my magnet. That little magnet's got a hook on it, and all it does is grab everything. All right, so what have I got? Uh, vertical blind uh, frame, whatever. Basically, it's extruded aluminum, and I got me another piece of gutter, which is always good. Usually got a couple little screws holding the ends on, no big deal. Still ain't cut those chairs up. That's all right. All right, I need to get my dolly here. My dolly I found yesterday. Sure, the tires are still got air in them. Yep. And I tell you what, on my next video, I'll probably add in, you know, whatever I get. 
I'll try to shoot some footage of the load, what I got, and give you guys a, a weight ticket. Uh, but like I say, I can't film there because it's a private school and there's kids. So, all right. So until next time.